What's up everybody, it's your host Kurt Jagoon, and guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Giants, Wizards, and Bowlers, aka the GWB attack at Town Hall 11. What is the GWB, guys? It is exactly what I said, but it is also the most deadly fresh hit option at Town Hall 11. There's lots of options out there, guys, at Town Hall 11 right now, and the game's current state, um, since the Inferno nerf, there is there's a ton of ways to three star town hall 11 but this one by far is one of the more potent options for fresh attacks if you want to take a base down the first time this is your most viable option right here this one and a bow witch those two attacks these actually rival each other they're more or less the same giants just give you a little bit different take on your tanking you can spread your tanking out with giants. You cannot do that, do that with golems. So, as you can see here, this thing runs very similar to a bow witch attack. He's got witches on the side funnels and bowlers. He's got witches, bowlers, and giants in the core. And it's completely devastating this base, guys. And just to let you know, this war, actually, this was a, uh, this footage is coming from the NDL All-Stars versus the Japanese War Community All-Stars. And I recorded a ton of Town Hall 11 content because, guys, these are the creme de la creme of their leagues and communities. So these are the best of the best, and they're going at it. And they're showing us exactly how to do this attack, perform it correctly at Town Hall 11. So I wanted to bring that to you guys. And these bases, if you don't... If th these bases are some of the toughest bases to three star so hats off to these guys for even getting them down so good job here and so we're gonna take a look here at Marcus here he's got the same setup look at it I'm covering up some of the Giants I do apologize for that guys um, because this is not my normal setup as you guys know I'm still at Duke Medical Center with my daughter I'm <laughs> outside I'm using a headset instead of my uh, snowball I mean it's it's all it's it's yeah this is not normal dragoon i do apologize and thank you guys so much for the love and support you have sent me thank you so much for that so right here as you can see marcus has funneled very good he's got a great core shot going right here he's going after a lot of the heavy stuff needs to get the eagle down the eagle is definitely one of the main uh pieces of opposition when it comes to defense um so he's getting that eagle right now he's going to take it down He's got his side funnels working out. Bowlers are doing a lot of work there. So everything's looking really good for this attack. And this is what I mean, guys. I wish I would have paid attention to which ones were fresh hits and which ones were not. But it doesn't really matter, honestly. Um, this is your best, by far your best fresh hit option at Town Hall 11. Now, if you guys disagree with that, um, definitely let me know in the comments. If you think that there's a better fresh hit option at Town Hall 11 besides Bow Witch or GWB, let me know I'm always hey guys I'm always open uh, and just let me know why you think it's better because I'm telling you right now this is one of the the, the most friendliest to learn attacks um, and ease of operation that there is it's a it's what I call a set it and forget it attack you basically just need to learn your funnel mechanics and after that you just got to get your spells right guys and this thing will eat a base alive so Let's get on the next one here. Here's Land Kui. Uh, this is of the NDL side. The Paper uh, ST Soap Company is the NDL side. And of course, the Japanese War League is the GWC. So right here, here comes the funnel again. And guys, I'm, you know, this, uh, just look at this. He's got everything out. He has literally dumped his whole army out just like that. Boom. It's all out. And so now his spells are for the core, obviously, not the sides. He's going into two Infernos, Max Infernos, right off the bat. How much core shot is he going to have left after he takes these Infernos down? Wow, and the Skellies took the one down. Amazing. I love this base, by the way. This base is pretty insane. Wow. Wow. Pretty impressive indeed, guys. Look at the, the base is wrecked. It's at 75%. You got a small line of defenses left at the back of the base, but other than that, practical, all practical purposes, it's over. You still got the queen's ability. You got 15 more cent, 15% uh, left of this base, and it is done. 
Look at this. It's crazy. He's saving the queen's ability. He could probably even swag it. He doesn't even need it. Went ahead and popped it though for good measure. Ripped the drain for this base. Great job, Lan. And here we go with uh, you so you so forty. All right, well, here we go. Let's let's take a look at his deployment. And that looks like to me he's doing a no. I was gonna say he's doing a little bit slower, but he's actually not. He's coming in here strong, just like all these other attacks. It's um, it's basically this this attack. You know, you dump everything out so fast, but you definitely got to be careful that you cut the corners on each side, like. Like that corner at 12 o'clock and that corner at 9 o'clock, he has got to cut those corners to make sure that his troops go core shot. So there's there's you know there's some skill to this. Some I mean you got to understand funnel basics, but the real skill to this guys is getting your spells down and keeping your troops alive in the core of the base. That is actually the trick of this attack. If you guys hear that noise in the background, that's actually a jackhammer. Um, <laughs> like I said earlier in another video, this is actually some construction work going on. They're building a new wing at this hospital, and so therefore, we got some ambient sound. Now this attack is not ending quite as strong as the other ones, but it is a three star, guys. It is a three star. Crushed. And I will, I will say that most of these are fresh hits. Um, I can't guarantee it, but most of them are just because that's what these guys do in these war leagues. When they use this type of attack, it is a fresh hit. They're trying to get this base down with the first shot. They also know that if it does not get the base down in the first shot, that it's going to expose every trap with the exception of the air mines. But it's going to, for a ground attack, if you're doing a hog attack, every big bomb is going to be exposed. Uh, you know, every trap, every spring, all of it, all of it's going to be exposed. This this attack, definitely Tesla's, there's nothing that the attacker, the next attacker won't know about this base. Plus, it's going to get 90 plus percent, high percentile, 90 percentile. Um, I, I rarely see these end with less than 90 percentile. So, if I were town, I do have a Town Hall 11, but my Town Hall 11 is definitely not up to speed. But if, but if it were, this was the attack I would use right away in Clan War. So right there, uh, Pep Per. I can't even say. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Sorry I couldn't pronounce that guy's name. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, through this time, guys, I'll try, you know, when I get back home, we'll go on regular schedule, and I'll be in my regular location. Sound will be good, so if you guys will bear with me during this time, I'm really thankful. I'm very thankful for that. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I am out of here. Bam! Just like that. That's all there is to it, Dustin. That's all there is to it. A winner. Just like that. We'll be right back with our price is right. Don't go away.